Hi, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed like that? Me? What are you doing here? Listen, buddy, you're in a lot of trouble. Ah, uh, you're the one who's in trouble, buddy. I'm a stormtrooper, part of the Galactic Empire. Galactic Empire? Pfft, sounds weak. I'm a clone trooper, part of the Galactic Republic. We're practically the same. No, we're not. I mean, do you wear white armor most of the time? Yeah. What about other colors of armor, like red or blue? Sometimes. Do you carry a blaster? Yeah. Big ones? Yeah. Grenades? Yep. Okay, do you use jetpacks? All the time. Can you see through your visor? Ah, uh, barely. Do you take orders from like weird lightsaber dudes? On a consistent basis. Even crazy ones? Emily, stop! What the? <laughs> oh yeah, real crazy. Uh, do you have dad issues? Most likely, definitely in the future. What about a designated trooper number? Yeah, CC2112. Okay, last question. Do you have like a weird scream randomly thrown into your battles? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Ah, huh, I guess we are the same person. But, whoa, what the heck? Why did I just say it like that? Ha, <laughs> I told you, Lord Vader. Uh, I know. I heard you the first time, Master. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the background? Have we not had a background this whole time? Ugh, man, these rations taste worse than a dead womp rat. I miss the days when we had, you know, actual cafeterias. I mean, it wasn't the best, but at least it was fresh. Ah, the good old days. You mean the days when all there was was clones and we had a variety of options, not just flavor nutrient bars. Yeah, I mean, those were the days, but now it's all about efficiency and uniformity. Uniformity? You mean like your armor? Because that's definitely not helping you blend in. True, but I will say at least we look intimidating. I mean, rebels must think twice before messing with us. Oh, I'm sure they're terrified of your spotless white armor. I can practically hear them quacking in their boots. Hey, come on. I mean, at least it's better than that clunky old clone trooper armor. No offense. None taken. I'll admit, our armor wasn't the most stylish, but at least it had character, and it didn't blind us with your shiny plastoids. Eh, I mean, you got me there. But, I mean, I will say the Empire's keeping us pretty busy right now. But, I want to ask, what was it like during that time, being a clone? Well, we were born and bred for war. No fancy names, just numbers. But at least we knew our purpose. Well, technically, we both get assigned numbers, but I see what you mean. Because, I mean, sometimes I just feel like a faceless stormtrooper, you know? I mean, we get our shiny white armor, a blaster, and, you know, that's about it. Your armor may be weak, but at least it's iconic. Everyone knows the stormtroopers. Clones are, well, more or less obsolete by now. Practically forgotten. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, it sounds like it could be pretty rough. But, you know, the bright side is we all share the same goal, which is maintaining order in the galaxy. Is that kind of what it was like for you guys? You know, during the Clone Wars? Well, we fought for the Republic. Well, what's left of it, I suppose. Some say we're disposable, but we were brothers, fighting together, trying to build a better galaxy. You know, we're all part of something bigger, whether we like it or not. But things have changed, though. The Emperor values more power, discipline. It's all about projecting strength. Strength, huh? I've seen more strength in a gunk droid, but hey, it's a living. <laughs> well, I mean, you got me there. I will say, I know it wasn't easy for you guys, you know, during the Clone Wars, but do you ever miss it? The old days of being a clone trooper? Yeah, sometimes. Back then, we always had a purpose, a mission. Now it just feels like we're another cog in the Imperial machine. I can see how you feel that way, but look at the bright side. There's no more Clone Wars. There's no more chaos. You and the rest of the clones, you accomplished the mission. Now it's all about keeping peace and maintaining order in the galaxy. Order? More like suppressing the dissent. We had the Clone Wars. Now, you've got the Galactic Civil War. Same war, different era. Different enemies, same blast of bolts flying in each direction. Took me long enough to realize that. Maybe too long. But, have you ever thought of leaving? You know, the Empire? 
Honestly, can't say I have. Years ago, I joined up because I believe in the Empire. I believe I can help make a difference in this galaxy, even if it's just my small part of being a stormtrooper. What about you? You were here before there even was an Empire. Do you miss the old Republic? Yeah, there was something special about the old days. Being on the battlefield with my brothers. Even fighting alongside the Jedi at times. But now, uh, things have changed. And so do the soldiers. In fact, did you hear about the latest mission? Rumor has it they're hunting down some rebel spies. Yeah, I was actually there when it happened. We intercepted some communications. Rumor is they have a base hidden around here somewhere. I think on Hoth, maybe. But that's just another day in the life of a stormtrooper. Speaking of the rebels, you ever think they make jokes about Emperor Palpatine? You know, in their hall of it? Yeah, <laughs> probably. I can imagine them making fun of his dark robes of doom. Great fashion choice. I know, right? And then he has that creepy hood. Do you think he practices his sinister hood flip in front of the mirror? Ah, who knows? Maybe he thinks it's an intimidation factor. Well, it worked on me. I wouldn't want to be on his bad side. With that type of intimidation, how could he ever be in a relationship, honestly? I couldn't imagine somebody kissing that face. Ugh. Speaking of, uh, I actually got some news. I went on a date the other day. A date? <laughs> You clones are always breaking protocol, aren't you? Well, when you've been in as many battles as I have, you start to appreciate the finer things in life. All right, fair enough. So, uh, who's the lucky lady? She's a Twi'lek, actually, from Ryloth. And let me tell you, she's quite the girl. A Twi'lek, huh? I'd be careful if I were you. Those rebels are really expanding their reach now, aren't they? No, 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 nothing like that. She's not a rebel. She's a civilian, a biologist actually, trying to make a living in this crazy galaxy. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. So, how'd it go? Went surprisingly well, actually. We went to a cantina on Tatooine, had some blue milk, and talked about anything but wool. It was a nice change of pace, actually. Really? You went out for blue milk in that sandbox? <laughs> you sure know how to show a Twi'lek a good time. Aye, you've got to work with what you got. And Tatooine has a uh, certain charm. I mean, if you squint past the sand and everything. Eh, if you say so. But there wasn't any discussion over the rebellion over dinner? No rebel talk, I promise. We just enjoyed each other's company and tried not to think about blasters or battles. Not gonna lie, I didn't think an old clone like you would still be able to pull some moves for the ladies. Never would have guessed it, my friend. Congrats. Life is full of surprises, even for us clones. I guess so. Just be careful. Don't let your new romantic endeavors distract you from the mission. Don't worry. I'm still dedicated to the cause. Or for however much longer the Empire will use me. But a trooper needs a break now and then, am I right? Fair enough. Just don't let the higher-ups catch wind of your newfound social life. Yeah, they can try. But as long as I've got her, my blaster, and a cup of blue milk, what more do I need? Well, may the Force be with you, my friend. You're gonna need it, especially with the Twi'lek. <laughs> Hi, you said it, Trooper. Hi, the good old days. Can you believe it? They're bringing back the Battlefront classics, and you'll be able to play them on all the platforms. I can't believe it. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is something that took the fans by a huge surprise. And I gotta say, I am so excited. This is one of those games that just made up my entire childhood. Hi, me too. Honestly, back when I was training on Kamado to become a clone trooper, we used to play Battlefront all the time. It was actually considered part of our training. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, one sec. Are you saying that's what you guys were doing in that one shot in episode two on Kamino? You mentioned growth acceleration. Otherwise a material clone would take a lifetime to grow. Now we can do it in half the time. Uh, yeah? I mean, what do you think we're doing on there? Solving advanced mathematical battle tactics? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can honestly say that's what I thought you guys were doing. But anyway, you know what, I am just so looking forward to playing the classics. Yeah, me too. We're gonna be getting some new updated content, like new maps being included, like Jabba's Palace for Battlefront 1, and then Bespin and Yavin 4 for Battlefront 2. Don't forget too, we're gonna be getting newly added bonus heroes like Asajj Ventress, Kit Fisto, plus we're also gonna be getting online gameplay for up to 64 players. And we're even gonna have split screen capabilities as well. And that's all gonna be awesome. Except for the split screen playing. Don't think, uh, don't think too many people play that way anymore. 
At least I don't. I think I've grown too accustomed to playing with my own full screen. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I guess you're right there about the split screen. But come on, how cool is it going to be to basically jump right back into what made the early 2000s awesome? I can honestly say, if you've never played these games growing up as a kid, you missed out big. And to be honest, I don't know if you had much of a Star Wars childhood without them. Yeah, yeah. I think the first few weeks after March 14th are going to be pretty much blacked out with Battlefront Gaming. Doing all the classic games, the classic game modes, classic heroes, and I'll be dominating the battlefield in every classic map possible. Not if I beat you there first, old man. Don't know if the galaxy is big enough for the two of us. I'm excited to see you there. That way we can relive the best Star Wars game ever, Battlefront 1. Yeah, well, well, I actually think you meant Battlefront 2. I mean, they're both great, but Battlefront 2 is where it's at. Uh, <laughs> um, um, sorry, what did you say? Eh, Battlefront 2 is the best? I mean, come on, compared side by side, Battlefront 2 blows Battlefront 1 out of the park. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, you know, how about we just chill out here? Before you say something, you're gonna regret. Because I think we both know the first Battlefront is the best Battlefront. What? Are you kidding? Battlefront 2 came with so much more content and improved gameplay mechanics. Not to mention the epic space battles. It took everything that was great about Battlefront 1 and then improved it tenfold. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll give you that, but Battlefield 1 has a nostalgic charm to it. It's where it all began, you know? And it's honestly what started the spark to the Battlefront games that we have today. It was basically what set the high bar for what makes a good Galactic Conquest Star Wars video game. Plus, let's not also forget that it gave us the most iconic soundtrack that could basically summarize our entire Saturday night and our childhood in just two notes. What? what where did that come from? Uh, <laughs> it's my ringtone. Seriously? Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's right. You're talking to the OG of Battlefront here. I believe I've made my point. Battlefield 1 is the legend of Star Wars Conquest games. BF2 can't beat that. Aye, I think you're forgetting what Battlefront 2 brought to the table. Just one year after the original Battlefront was released, they brought us all new game modes like Hero Battles, and brought in new nostalgic characters like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, and even characters that we don't see in today's games, like Mace Windu, and then basically doubled down on the amount of maps that we could battle on. And unlike the original, Battlefront 2 introduced a real campaign mode where you can play as a member as the 501st. I think the only reason you're really pushing the first Battlefront is because you're on the cover. Hey, that's only partly true. And besides, I could easily say the same thing about you and BF2. You're, I don't know, what was it called? The 501st clone trooper on the cover? I think the only way we're gonna be able to decide this once and for all is to let the fans decide. We could ask them to, oh, I don't know, maybe tell us which original Battlefront they think is best and why they think it is in the comments. Oh, come on. You're just telling the people to comment because you want this video to go well on YouTube. Hey, that's only partly true. But it's also because it actually would be fun to see what everybody else thinks about this. Because let's be honest, this is a pretty big announcement in Star Wars. You know what? I'll even go ahead and put it on my community page. That way we can actually have a poll for people to vote on. Should, uh, should they go and vote on the community page? Eh, I mean, you said it, not me. I'm not saying they should, but it's there. Oh, brother. Ah, come on, give me a break. All right, all right. It is true, though. I don't think I've seen so much hype for a Star Wars video game, even for the new Battlefront games. I mean, the internet practically blew up. Almost like the way you guys blew up Alderaan. Hey, that's only partly true. But I will give you that one because, okay, you know what? That was pretty good. All right, good job. Plus, for anyone who did miss out on these games back in the day, now is the chance for them to strap on their boots and hit the original Battlefront fields. That one I can agree with you on. Whether it's the old generation or the new generation, we all get to enjoy this game together. However, 
I guess we'll also just have to agree to disagree about which Battlefront is better. It'll just be awesome to relive those old memories of playing Battlefront on my original Xbox. Hi, me too, my friend. Except, uh, I think you meant that you played it on the PlayStation. Because the PlayStation's way better. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? We may just have to chill out here for a minute before you say something you're gonna regret. Oh, hello. I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations. Before you go, you may want to check out our other animation videos right here. It would be just absolutely marvelous if you can go view them and leave a comment. Yes, R2, I was just getting to that. As R2 has said, if you have not, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notifications that way you can get updates on our future videos. If you did very much enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. It helps out the channel dearly and my master very much appreciates it. We once again thank you so much for checking out today's video and may the force be with you all. Can you believe it? They're bringing back the Battlefront classics. This is one of those games that just made up my entire childhood. We're gonna be getting some new updated content. Plus, we're also gonna be getting online gameplay for up to 64 players. I think the first few weeks after March 14th are gonna be pretty much backed out with Battlefront gaming. So, uh... Yeah. Uh, I think, uh... I think we were uh, both wrong on that front. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, that definitely wasn't like the good old days. Our um, our last video was way off. I think uh, we should have waited a few days before uploading it because it aged like milk. Yeah, even worse than that, it aged more like blue milk. I mean, we had so much hype and anticipation for this game, and then when it came out... Are we... are we still arguing about which Battlefront is better? Uh... I don't think so. At this point, at least we can determine which Battlefront game release was the worst. Yeah, well, uh, well you mean the classic edition, right? Well, if you don't know that, then I think you've lost all credibility. All right, all right. So, uh, what are we gonna talk about now? I don't know, man. Right now, I'm just trying to decompress from the last few hours. Well, uh, we could discuss the new Acolyte trailer. Oh, oh no. I don't have anywhere near the energy to start discussing that. As far as I'm concerned, I haven't even watched it yet. Right now, all I really need to hear is some good news. Oh, well, uh... I mean, I heard that they're re-releasing the original Star Wars movies into theaters. What did you just say? That, uh, they're releasing the original Star Wars movies into theaters? Don't you say those things. Don't you say those things unless they're true. Well, last I heard, it's definitely happening. Holy Tauntaun Testins! That is amazing! W when When can we watch it on the big screen again? Well, if it's to be true, it's uh, supposed to start on May the 4th. <gasps> no Slimin' Sarlacc way! Well, I know what my plans are gonna be this upcoming Star Wars day. Okay, look, now I need to figure out what I'm going to go as. Off the top of my head, I would have to guess a Stormtrooper? Yes, perfect! What about you? Do you think you're gonna go as a clone trooper? Or do you think maybe we should try something different? Uh, well, to be honest... I mean, we could always try a different duo. I mean, come on, man. I know you've always had a soft spot for Chewbacca. Well, to be honest, I I'm really not sure if... Should we start with episode four? I mean, you know, we should really just jump into the classics and get that full nostalgia going. I mean, I might be a little biased because, you know, I've obviously had some screen time in it, but I mean, you can't deny the foundation and the beauty that George Lucas brought to life. Well, actually, you, you know what I was thinking. Or, you know, maybe we should just go in chronological order and start with episode one. I mean, we all know it's not the best, but I think we can say that the prequels have aged well over the years. Plus, they've also created a great fan base. And I mean, we can't deny that they've become so relevant to both the Legends and Canon storylines. Well, Larry, I, I really don't think that... Oh, when do they go on sale? You know, we should really just get ahead of this and start coordinating our schedules. That way we can plan out the whole week for May the 4th. Well, to be honest, I I'm really not sure if- Oh man, this is just gonna be so awesome. And you know, now that I think about it, maybe I should go with somebody else. I mean, I know it's not politically correct, but I've always seen the Jedi as a dedicated and strong- Larry! I'm not going. 
What? I've just decided I'm not gonna go. What? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, why not? I, I'm just not feeling it. What? What do you mean? I, I mean, look at you. You're a clone trooper. I mean, you of all people would want to go see Star Wars on the big screen. It's. Uh, it's not that I don't want to go, Larry. Of course, I, I love being a clone trooper. I love Star Wars. I mean, Episode Three is always gonna be my favorite. I'm just. Uh, I, I'm. I'm just tired. Tired? Like what? I mean, what? Are Are you not feeling good or something? No, no. It's It's not like that. I'm just. I, I'm just tired of being let down. I'm tired of getting excited and hyped up for things, and then to just ultimately have my hope crushed in the end. And it's not because of the Battlefront classics. I mean, that's just the most recent disappointment. Lately, I've just been feeling like a recycled droid, on the verge of rotting away. Aw oh man, I'm so sorry. I didn't... I didn't know that's how you were feeling. I'm so sorry that I haven't noticed. And... and believe me, you're not alone. I think many people feel the exact same way as you do. Yeah? Like who? Well... Me. R r really? Yeah. I mean, I know it's hard to get happy or excited about some of these new things that are coming out in Star Wars, when so many of them have fallen flat. But I really try to keep a positive view, you know? And I always hope for the best. I mean, come on. Star Wars was built on hope. So many people didn't believe in George Lucas's vision, and look at where we are now. Well, I mean, that is true. Yeah, and also, let's be honest, it's not like it's all been bad. We can always just focus on the positive. I mean, look at games it's like Jedi Fallen Order or Jedi Survivor. We spent weeks exploring those maps. We got introduced to new characters like Cal Kestis, Marin, and of course that BD-1. Well, I mean, it definitely was a pretty fun game. I even remember you gave me tips on how to defeat the Ogdo boss. That Griffin nerf herder. Exactly. And we can't forget the newest LEGO Star Wars game release. I mean, all the characters could actually talk. They, they did. They did talk. And don't forget the amazing additions we have to the new season of The Bad Batch. I mean, that has been such an emotional series. The character arcs have almost brought me to tears. It was so good. I remember being on the edge of my seat the whole time. Then we also got the Mandalorian. And then we got the Mandalorian. You see, there has been such amazing moments for Star Wars in the past couple of years. And we have so much more to look forward to. So what do you say, Trooper? Do you want to go see the original Star Wars on the big screen with me? Yes. Yes, I do. There you go, Trooper. That's the spirit. Now let's go get our tickets right now. All right, let's do it. And I changed my mind, though. I'm going to go dressed as Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, you know, let's just dial it back. Dial it back just a little bit, okay? I like the RNG, though. <laughs> I cannot believe that you've never ridden a Tauntaun. Have you ever actually stood next to a Tauntaun? They're more intimidating than a Sarlacc pit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where, where are we? Uh, um, how many, how many was that now? I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember. I stopped keeping track after 31. Doesn't matter, though. You go ahead. Okay, all right, um, all right. Never have I ever taken a hologram call when I was taking a number two. What? When did you do that? Please don't tell me this is, like, a regular thing. Uh... Remember a couple weeks ago when you contacted me on helping you move in your new couch? What? You mean you did it with me when I called you? Disgusting, man. I was wondering why there was such a loud echo in the background. Oh my goodness, this also makes so much sense why I could only see the top half of your body in the hologram. Ah, come on. It was half off on Ronto's wraps that day. I had like 12 of them. Yeah, yeah, excuses, excuses. It's your turn anyway. Uh, okay, okay. Um, never have I ever hit on a Twi'lek dancer and been rejected. Ugh, I can't believe I ever told you that. Aye, some troopers got it, and some troopers don't. Okay, that is completely unfair. How was I supposed to know that she had a thing for Wookiees? They're like legendary for their, um, well, for a lack of a better word, 
would work. How can I compete with that? Yeah, I know what you mean. They're almost as good as us clones. Pfft. Oh, shut up. You just keep telling yourself that, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Your turn. Okay, okay, let me see here. Um, never have I ever had to explain to the Emperor why I lost my helmet. Okay, now you know I have to ask. <laughs> well, it was actually right before Order 66. I accidentally walked in on Palpatine when he was electrocuting himself with Mace Windu's lightsaber. His wrinkled turd face looked so grotesque. I ended up having to whip off my helmet so fast just so I had something to throw up in. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time I saw his face too. What? So then, what did you tell him happened to your helmet? Well, I ended up telling him the first thing that came to my mind. I told him that I just came back from a Taylor Swift concert, and it was so crazy that I ended up losing it. Taylor Swift? And... and that worked? Oh yeah, he's a major Swifty. He even high-fived me after. But then later that day, for some reason, I had the crazy urge to go kill all the Jedi. It was a dark time, honestly. It's a memory I'd rather not recall. I hear you on that. There was this one time I lost a bet at Jabba's palace, and I ended up having to kiss this Gamorrean chick. Ugh. That's a time I'd rather not remember. No! Gross! Come on, Matt, are you serious? Yeah, I basically ended up having to chug down some mouthwash just to get the taste out of my mouth. Hi, I would have drank two bottles if I were you. All right, let's move on. My turn. Never have I ever kissed a Sith while on duty. You're kidding. After that Gamorrean story, I don't buy it. Was a few years ago, actually, now. Me and a few other troopers were sent to Korriban. Emperor Palpatine had some sort of weird feeling about the place, so we went to scope it out. We ended up finding this woman who was recently banished from her tribe of Sith. And I don't know, I guess I kind of had a soft spot for her, and, you know, one thing led to another, and, you know. This trooper got to first Sith base. Uh, okay. First off, never say that again. Second. You say you are on Korriban? I'm finding this story hard to believe. Really? Then where did I get this? What the? Okay, first off, you just be carrying around that thing everywhere? And second, she just gave that to you? Uh, sure, let's go with that. Actually, I got this one from Sabres Pro. I always thought it would be cool to have a black version of the Darth Maul Saber. And holy crap was I right. Not only does this saber hilt have a nice weight to it, but it also detaches into two hilts. So it's basically like getting two sabers into one. Also, probably the best part about this is it's fully customizable. Being able to change anything from the colors to the sound effects, you can set it up to be the Jedi or the Sith you are meant to be. Uh, I mean, either one. I, I won't judge. Wink, wink. But I mean, come on. I wasn't going to tell him that. I mean, look at how impressed he is. Well, well, I'm impressed. Truly impressed, my friend. She almost turned me to the dark side, if you know what I mean. Uh, no. I actually don't know what you mean, nor do I want to. But I think it's your turn. Okay, um, never have I ever missed a target. Oh, don't even. You know that statement's complete bantha poodoo. Hey, hey, come on. I mean, you know I'm a good shot, right? Yeah. For a stormtrooper. Well, why don't you try wearing this helmet for once? It's not that easy, you know? I can't tell you how many doorways I've bumped my head on just because of my limited view. <laughs> but let's just let's just move along here, okay? I think it's your turn. Alright, alright. Um never have I ever been taken captive by Ewoks. You son of a nerf herder. Who told you that? Those little fur balls are extremely vicious, okay? And surprisingly strong. <laughs> Larry, Larry, call for backup! <laughs> Holy crap! They're all over me! <laughs> Three, four, I could probably take. But when you're getting swarmed by like 67 of them, you got no chance. I don't know a trooper alive who could fight that. <clears throat> no. Yep. 68 of them, to be precise. How could you possibly? 
Are you kidding? They were designed after Carrie Fisher's dog. I just took a tennis ball and threw it into the woods. Is... is that true? Oh yeah! Those things are like knockoff gremlins. They kept fighting over it for an hour. No, that thing about Carrie Fisher. Were the Ewoks actually inspired by her dog? Oh, oh, who knows? Star Wars Theory is a heck of a channel. Oh, that guy. Yeah, you know, by the way, has he ever invited you onto his channel? Eh, no. Has he asked you? Actually, no, he hasn't. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because you're not as good of a channel as you used to be. Hey, that's only partially true. We still have at least, you, you know, a, a few fans watching our videos. Well, the only way that we would know is if they liked this video. That always helps. Plus, also leaving a comment below, that way we can see what they thought of the video. Doesn't hurt to smash that subscribe button. We're literally bleeding out of subscribers. I mean, we put days and weeks into videos just like this one, just to end up with less people liking us. Oi, just like your dating profile. Hey, that's only partially true. Really? This coming from a guy who made out with the Gamorian? Ugh, why do I tell you anything? Now all I know is you're just never gonna let that go, will ya? After today, if you're passed out on top of the roof of the cantina again, I'm not coming to get you. Well, I, uh, I, I don't remember that. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you did. Let's just say I'm not the only one sitting at this table who's made out with a Gamorrean. What? No, 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 no! <gasps> Saber's Pro! That's where you got that saber! I knew it looked familiar! You never went to Korriban! Hey! That's only... partially true! What is true is that you can save 10% on your first order and get free and fast shipping. Oh, come on! Is this the last time you're gonna throw in an ad? Yes, yes, I promise, okay? I swear. Last one. Oh, hello. I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations. Before you go, you may want to check out our other animation videos right here. It would be just absolutely marvelous if you can go view them and leave a comment. Yes, R2, I was just getting to that. As R2 has said, if you have not, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notifications that way you can get updates on our future videos. If you did very much enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. It helps out the channel dearly and my master very much appreciates it. We once again thank you so much for checking out today's video and may the force be with you all.